once upon a time, there was a witch named Griselka who chalked up a very enviable record when it came to witchery. I hereby cast a spell upon you, and henceforth you shall be known as Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> I hereby cast a spell upon you, and forevermore, you shall remain a frog! Naturally, when it came time to give out the award for the best witch of the year... I shall treasure this gold-plated skull the rest of my unnatural life. Well, sir, Griselka's stock soared sky-high after that, and every night was Halloween, as far as she was concerned. Grizz, you're due to fly to London tonight to touch off the year of a plague. We'll cancel that until Monday. I have to lock a damsel named Rapunzel in a tower. I'm dancing! <laughs> this went on for months, and Griselka was just about the most popular witch of all time. That's when it happened. There she was, concocting a vile brew in a cauldron, when suddenly the door opened, and there stood the most handsome prince in the world. Ah, fair lady. Could I trouble you for a flagon of water? That was tantamount to committing Harry Carey. Instead of water, try a sip of this. Here's looking at you, sweet damsel. Cheers! Ah, but witches, too, have hearts. And it was there that Griselka was struck by Cupid's timely arrow. Don't drink that! The liquid burned a hole three feet deep. I say, that must be carbonated. You know, I must have that prince. But Griselka was so ugly that she could look in a mirror and crack it. But it's a poisoned apple you're supposed to send to Snow White. You sure it isn't a poisoned watermelon? Look, Grizz, yesterday you changed a bat into a bunny rabbit. You better go see a doctor. There's no doubt of it, madam. You have an acute case of amoritis. Is that anything like the three-year itch? Madam, you are in love. L-U-F, love. Mirror, mirror on the wall. And don't you dare crack on me. How can I win the prince's love? You must cast a spell on yourself. And now I must go before I crack up. Of course. The mirror is right. If I change myself into a beautiful princess, the prince will fall in love with me. This was the biggest job she ever faced. For two weeks, she boiled wolfbane, mice wings, and gruffy powder in the old reliable cauldron. And finally... Through the mouth and through the gums. Look out, stomach. Here it comes. The age-old incantation never failed. Where once there was a witch, stood an enchanting princess. Well, my son, how are you enjoying the ball? I'm having a ball, Dad. I know that, but how are you enjoying it? Before the prince could answer, his eyes spied what to oh. him was the most beautiful maiden he had ever seen. You're beautiful, you're lovely, you're engaged. To me. A whirlwind courtship ensued, during which the prince and his inamorata were seen everywhere. Ah, but they were not alone. I say, sweetheart, have you noticed that broom that seems to follow us wherever we go? Broom? <gasps> there was no mistaking it. This was the very same broom Griselka had ridden on her nightly forays. Quick, dearest, lock the broom in the cellar. Even though the request was a strange one, the prince complied. But that night, at the opera. Now, don't look now, but... Isn't that the same broom sitting next to you? Oh, quick, my love, take me home. Alas, there was no running away from her past. No matter where the princess went, the broom was sure to go. So, you used to be Grisel Kodovic, eh? Oh, yes, Doctor. Amazing. We wondered where you'd got to. Now, tell me your problem. And the princess unfolded the bizarre happenings of the past week. Well, this is all psychological, my dear. You see, that broom... This broom? Oh, yes. Anyway, that broom has a dust complex. You see, it's lonely. It misses its former owner. It undoubtedly still thinks that you are a witch. Well, what can I do, Doctor? What can I do? Next time, take the train. The desperate princess returned to the hut where she had once lived as a witch, followed closely by the broom. Oh, if there was only someone to help me. There is, there is. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall, reflecting all this gloom. How in the world does one get rid of an old but faithful broom? The answer is simple. Get a gride. Now, in those days, dustpans weren't called dustpans. They were called grides. And so it was that the princess immediately purchased a small but attractive gride and set it beside the lonesome broom in the broom closet. The rest happened naturally. And do you, prince, take this princess for your wife? Oh, I do. Yes, it turned out to be a double wedding ceremony. Not only was there a bride and a groom, but there was also a... <laughs> a gride.